Our next speaker is a frequent visitor to Normandy and has been a true champion of everything surrounding this project. He has a deep love for the region and the Norman people. He calls this his favorite place on earth. We all feel that way. Mr. David Alfonso is not only, don't, has not only donated to this project financially, but also has provided sound advice throughout this entire process. He has been, without a doubt, someone the Foundation has been able to count on the past two and a half years. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David F. Alfonso. Thank you, Tim. Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and absolutely the veterans of World War II. It is indeed a special day as we unveil a monument that is focused on those who served in an Army leadership capacity during the Normandy campaign. And although many factors played into the ultimate success of D-Day and those that followed, a critical element that drove that success was the leadership on the front lines. It is fitting that this monument feature then First Lieutenant Dick Winters as he was on June 6, 1944. And as per his wishes, this monument is focused on all Army junior officers. We should also mention today the efforts of the NCOs, since together with the junior officers, both displayed an unwavering courage to lead men into battle without question. It was their leadership capabilities that inspired and drove the men around them to always press forward, never give up, and overcome all adversity. This very leadership ultimately proved to be one of the most powerful weapons on the battlefield. This happens to be my ninth trip to Normandy, and on every visit, I'm always left with an overwhelming level of respect for the Norman residents. They have taken the sense of duty for remembering to a level unlike anything I have witnessed throughout my travels in Europe. Thank you for the reverence that you display to the World War II veterans. Thank you for flying the American flags and the Allied flags at your homes and businesses. Thank you for always making us feel so welcomed, and thank you for always promoting and caring for the many monuments and memorials throughout Normandy. Being here on causeway number two and trying to picture what happened here always leaves me inspired by the courage and the sacrifice of men that jumped out of planes followed by those who landed on the beaches exactly 68 years ago today. Without exception, every time I have asked a veteran how it was, that they could find the strength to constantly push forward under the most horrific conditions. They'd always say, we were just doing our job or we didn't want to let our buddies down. A few weeks ago, I spoke with Bill Garnier who received the Silver Star for his efforts at Braycor Manor. We spoke about today and what he would say if he were here. And he first said, tell him I thought Winters was a Quaker. He explained that prior to June 6, he was afraid. He was afraid that winners wouldn't fight or effectively lead men into battle. Bill went on to say, I was wrong. He wasn't a Quaker, he's probably a Mennonite. <laughs> but he was a real leader and I would follow him anywhere. He was the best in the world. There are countless examples of this type of leadership, and for a moment, let's reflect on a few. Like the leadership of Roy Creek as he led his men to secure and hold the bridge at Chef DuPont. Or the leadership of Court George Kirshner as he led his men to scale the cliffs at Point du Hoc. Or the leadership of Ralph Gorenson as he pushed his men up the bluffs on the Omaha Beach. Or the leadership of Bob Ray as he led his men and led the charge across the bridge at Lafayette. To all World War II veterans, thank you. Thank you for inspiring us. It is truly because of you that we're able to stand here today. And to the citizens of St. Marie de Mont, thank you for providing this piece of sacred land so that future generations who will have the privilege to stand where we stand today can marvel at the image of one of many brave leaders who led the charge to liberate this beautiful country and the world. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Richard D. Winters Leadership Monument recognizing all those who led the way on D-Day.
There we go.